Let's make the lead from Mick Gordon's BFG division from the Doom soundtrack. You can download this preset from my Patreon page along with over 100 other presets for only $5. A link for that's in the video description. I also put a link to my new Discord server if you'd like to join. There you can discuss sound design, give and get feedback on your work, and occasionally get free presets like this one. Before I jump into a step-by-step -step tutorial, let's do an overview of what we have here. Basically, we're using saw waves and octaves with a little bit of unison detune. Then we're modulating frequency of those oscillators with an extremely fast random LFO to give it that grit. I'm also using a duplicate oscillator without the frequency modulation to mix in some of the clean sound. Then I'm filtering out some of the low grit from the frequency modulation and filtering out a little bit of the high end here. For effects, I'm using a little soft clipping, a subtle delay, and some reverb. Lastly, I made the preset monophonic with legato turned on and some glide time. To get started, initialize preset, we're going to be using the saw wave here, and we're going to raise it one octave. In order to do that, you can hold shift and then drag up on the coarse pitch, it should say 12. Then we're going to raise voices to 3 and then set the percentage of detune to 10%. Now if I go to the advanced mode, I have access to the advanced unison controls here, and I can make this mono. So I'm going to turn down stereo unison all the way, and I get this. Now that I have that, I'm going to add some grit to it by doing FM from a random LFO here. I'm going to set the tempo to seconds and turn it all the way up. Hold shift to make it bipolar and drag that over to coarse pitch, and I get this. Now that doesn't sound very tonal, we need to dial it back, so I'm going to set this to 18 semitones. Now we can sort of hear the pitch, but it's a little bit too intense. So that's the maximum amount of FM we're going to allow in this preset, and then let's control the amount of that FM with a macro. So I'm going to drag over macro 1, and I'm going to set macro 1 to about 0.428. Now we hear a lot more of the center of the pitch. So now that I've done that, I'm going to add in another oscillator that's not being frequency modulated, and I'm going to mix in a dry signal to make it even cleaner. So I'm going to repeat all the steps from before, raising this 12 semitones, raising this to three voices, setting the percentage of detune to 10%, and then making it mono, and we get this. Now that sounds even cleaner. We get the grit from oscillator 1, and then the tonal uh, part of the sound from oscillator 2. Now, I want it to be a little bit more gritty than that, so I'm going to dial back oscillator 2. This is going to be 0.271. We get this. And then let's control the level of oscillator 1 with another macro. So I'm going to drag this over here, uh, and let's label this grit. Uh, so if I turn this up, that controls the amount of grit we get. So I'm going to set this to 0.7 to return it back to its original value, and we get that. Now we can label this FM. So now that we've done that, let's add in a third oscillator, and this is going to be an octave down. And since we only have three oscillators, I can't do that dry wet thing that we did with the uh, first two oscillators, um, or at least it's a lot harder to do that. And I didn't feel it was that important to do because it's lower in the mix. So for oscillator 3, um, we're going to control the volume of this with a macro. Uh, I use macro 4. We'll use macro 3 in a minute here. So drag over macro 4. I set this to 0.5. And then for this one, uh, it uses some slightly different settings. So I set this to 5 voices at 20% detune. Uh, and then I dragged over a different random LFO. This time I used the sample and hold algorithm, uh, and then I raised the frequency again to 0 0.001 seconds. Hold shift and drag this over to course pitch. And for this one, instead of 18, I set this to 6 uh, and dragged over the FM macro to this one as well. And let's hear what this sounds like by itself. One thing I forgot to do is turn down stereo unison. You can hear the difference now. 
that makes it sound more like the lead. Uh, and so that's what a, the lower octave will sound like by itself. Now with the upper octave as well, we get that. So let's dial this in a little bit with some filters. We're going to cut out some of the grit that we get from the FM in the low register. You'll notice uh, in the spectrum analyzer here, there's some mud down there from the FM. So let's cut that out. Let's use uh, analog 24 decibel filter, turn down resonance all the way, key tracking all the way, uh, and let's route in all three oscillators. Sounds a little bit cleaner with that. And then I'm going to cut out some of the high end as well. So I'm going to route in just filter one for this. And then let's set the uh, cutoff of this. Uh, let's set this to about 44.94. Uh, after we've done that, let's raise the transpose here, hold shift and drag this up an octave. That's the register that uh, the lead is playing in the original track, and I think it sounds a little bit better up there anyways. Uh, while we're here, let's lower voices to one, let's set it to legato, and let's raise the glide time to 0.075. Now when notes will overlap, uh, when I'm playing MIDI notes, it will glide between the pitches. It will only play one voice at a time. So now that we've done that, let's go in and add some effects. I added some distortion. Uh, let's see, for this, I'm just using the soft clipper, and I used 6.6 .6 decibels of drive. It's pretty subtle, the, the effect that this has on the sound. Uh, and then I added a little bit of delay. And it's important to keep in mind, this sound is really low at the mix for the original track. So I'm kind of guessing a little bit as to what uh, Mick Gordon did for this sound. So there's a lot of interpretation going on. I don't know for sure that he used uh, any of these techniques. I don't know if he used distortion or delay or whatever, uh, but I thought it sounded good. So I added in 10% of this delay just to give it a little dimension. And then I also added in the reverb, let's see, 30% in the mix. Since this is kind of low in the mix, I kind of think it sounds nice uh, as if it were far away. That's why I'm using uh, quite a bit, at least quite a bit for me, 30% in the mix there. And then for the size, 60% makes it a little less dense, a little less noticeable, a little less thick. And then for the time, I put in two seconds to give it um, the sense that it's in a big space here. Now, before we finish with this preset, let's make use of macro three. I'm going to use this to control the number of voices. So I'm going to lower voices to one for oscillators one and two. I want oscillator three to have more voices, so I'm going to lower this to three voices. Then I'm going to drag over macro three to those voice controls. I'm going to turn this one up here. I'll label this voices. And then for the value here, I'm just going to eyeball it. So you can see how many voices there are with the number of lines here. So I want there to be three for these and then five for this. So about there. And then I'm going to label macro four. This was controlling the volume of the lower octave. So I'm going to call this 8BB, uh, which is shorthand for down an octave. So anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.